Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video it's time to go cut some silage and as you can tell I'm in the 2725 just let Stephen go ahead of us there because he's going to bring a bigger load than I ever will we're starting in the big field, bro is down there he's rowing away at the minute, he's a nice bit done so it's me, Stephen, Rory and George all drawn, Black Massey will be out so we're going to get hopefully get the rounds lifted off this evening and we'll go back here in the morning we measured up how much we have to do and we have 69.45 acres and so just under 70 it's time for us to roll on out of the yard we go get the silage in the pit best time of the year about air conditioned cabs like mine you don't have to open them to get out so bro is flying it he's every other run just about done it's down there as you can tell it's not an over heavy crop it did look quite good but that's going to be serious quality stuff just look at how good that looks that has to be the best stuff we've ever made lovely wilt on it you know She's in real, real nice order, that. Oh, it doesn't get better than that smell. It doesn't get better than this. This is what it's all about. This is the highlight of the farming year. The contracting year. Silage. Anyways, I better keep up with them. This is a long way around the field. There's a few um, light problems we need to get looked at. I didn't think there was no parkers working on it. some grass. Lights. Camera. Action!
So we're just up here. We're putting up a fence just along here so that when we have the inside field lifted, the bulls can go straight onto it while we wait to get going. And um, this is the grass here we mowed in the big field. It's in smashing order. Once it gets rolled up, gets maybe an hour or that, it's in, it'll be in lovely dry. Like it's very well wilted on top. Lovely leafy stuff now. The smell coming across the field in the gator. Oh, it's hard bad. We're gonna get this fence up and hopefully we'll be back here in a few hours lifting grass. Just have the pit kind of tidied up a bit. There's only six, eight load in it. Six load, eight load, eight load in it. And then we're just getting ready to go now. So bar B inspection this morning, that's passed. Perfect, no bother. Got a good score. Eventually we're getting going again. It's just actually starting to mist a little bit. Feel a few drops falling. So now it's um, Rory and the Black Massey is drawn. Um, Bro will come back when he's back from school and it's another one. And then Stephen will come later on and we'll get going. So I'm going to draw a load in between pushing up. But now the debate is 99 or 2725. Part of me wants to just do the 2725 just for the sake of it. But at the same time, the 99 is the faster tractor. So I think I will bring the 99. And we'll try the drone when we get down there. My job is keeping the silage shoved up, so we'll draw a few load with the 99. Ooh, ask me no questions. I tell you no lies. If you come. Back in the shovel, the good old veneery loading shovel. It's time to start pushing up. So we drew a load there, flew the drone, and it just brings back now memories. Last two years after Uncle got sick and that, anytime that we were at pit side, he wanted to come out, he wanted to push up side, especially road. And then that left me nearly twiddling me thumbs to go out and look at film all that was going on in the field and that. This year, it's just a little bit harder to fill. Brings back good memories, all the times, and not very safe, but you'd spend 
there beside him and him showing you how to do the pit, work the pit, throwing it side to side, make sure you keep the sides filled up so that way you always fall in rather than fall out from the pit. And, yeah. Tell me an awful lot. This was one of his jobs and his jobs are not my jobs. So yes, we're gonna push up and as you would have seen in the drone footage, the black massy stall and a slight bit of an up scene, he just must have been in the wrong gear or something and he just lost it and then my father was, just kept going and he piled it on on top of the roof he must have thought that he'd need that extra bit of space on the roof to bring back an extra bit anyways Nelly was with me too in the tractor she's keeping an eye on proceedings it's time to shove up some grass Tractor, that black mass thing. Smashing you. Sixty to ninety looking well. So Rory's pilot in it in the trainer trailer. driving back in there they have the big field done and now we're just waiting for a rake man to come home so it shouldn't be too long though it's been drizzling there a little bit which is annoying but not really like it's not even wet in the concrete there so i'm just expanding the pit at the minute shoving her out to make space because we're just over the halfway mark and what's left to be cut is a heavier crop so there's probably more of it all going to plan? No. Well, it's not too bad though. That's alright. There's no dust. No dust. Keep the dust down. Yeah. Everyone going fine, hearts are running well. Yeah. yeah. We've been getting the handicaps and tractors and everything. No, I it's seen bad. that. I got it. That's on drone. <laughs> <laughs> that's on drone. <laughs> that's on drone, <laughs> but there wasn't a, you couldn't fit it into the trailer. You had I to put, I had to fill it out. Like extra one. <laughs> just not so bad. We got nothing on the ground. <laughs> we're really getting good at this. <laughs> yeah, that's good, yeah. So they're just moving on to the next bit. Bro's back. So all is good. The two drawn from the weak field actually worked out not too bad. Um, a third one and the other had to wait, but with two of them there wasn't very little wind for anyone, so it wasn't too bad. Steven should be here shortly, and then that way we'll have three then for the long draw. Or well, when I say long draw, it's about two kilometers, so it's not it's not majorly bad or anything. Going out there to start lifting the red clover that's coming in next, uh, but it has started raining. 
coke is starting to get wet. It's been, it's been quite heavy there now, but it's easing off again. And the forecast has changed. The forecast was all good week into the weekend, and now it's changed. Tomorrow's going to be quite wet, and the weekend is going to be dropping. It's not going to be silage weather. But, um, yeah, it's what you call the dries of it. But we'll have ours in the pit by this evening. And that's all that really matters for us. We've no one else. We have a couple of jobs for next week. As uh, three pits, I think, or it could be four pits on for next week. Um, no bail, no, there is bailing on as well. So next week's going to be a busy week. And sorry to be done. Hopefully now we we'll get a good bit of slurry shifted. If the weather's bad to tomorrow, we'll get slurry shifted over the weekend, and then we'll go back into silage then after that. We get a bit of time now and a bit of time on the pit, which is nice. Anyways, we get to it. And the first load of red clover is back. So, yeah, yeah. We might have got a little bit more rain up there now. It does feel a bit damp of itself. Smells, smells good. Smells very good. The dampness could be a bit of an issue because it wants to be very dry. You can see where the dryness is in it. Or must have been after his road, but yeah. Just want a little bit drier. You can see the red clover in it. Lots of it there. Lots of red clover, and that's what we want to see. But you can see the difference between this, which you can kind of tell looks a bit stemmier of itself that's probably from the red clover and it, the grass was stronger and then you can see this stuff much leafier stuff um, yeah we'll put it in the middle of the pit and we'll see how it works out um, yeah it'll be interesting to see I can't, it'll probably get lost because it's such a small amount of 5 acres of it going into 69 acres of a pit well over 69 acres of a pit so it'll probably get lost in it but It'll get fed to the cattle all the same. Anyways, Nelly, come on. Nelly back in the cab. Can we get shoving up? And we're off to go get a load of silage in 2725. And I have my camera up there. Go get yourselves a load of silage. Probably the last load I get brought in this year. Or for now, anyways.
our company again. Nelly's back in with me. This time she won't sit in the floor. She wants to sit in my lap. So she can see more now. That's all she's thinking of. We're rolling in the pit. Unfortunately though, we're one tractor down. The Black Massey's after throwing an error code and gone into limp home. That is the one downside to modern new tractors. It can be a very, very minor, minor thing that can just completely stop everything. Whereas the likes of the 27.5, the 6290, there's not a whole lot stops them in regards to things like error codes and sensors not reading right and things like that. So yeah, go school like old school. And we are just after having the tea there. We're pushing on here pushing up and you may see a digger rooting away there at the back there and yeah we are finally getting that job done making a separate video on it but I just let you know we're actually doing something once we get to a certain point we'll show you what's going on but cousin is out there digging for me um, because we're just not never going to get to it and I need it done so we we'll get out of the yard for another run full there now <clears throat> not get halfway around the field so it is definitely gonna fill up the pit so it is this field's definitely gonna fill her up move on and I go on about my way home beautiful sight that though that cloud behind the harvester does not look very promising so it is dark now and it is pretty safe to say the pressure was on there for a bit. I <laughs> haven't pulled out the camera. Just got everyone out of the yard. Bro's drawn. A couple of things held me back. I had to get bro sword in the 27-25. Uh, that took a few minutes. Then I had the uh, fuse was gone in the 99 and she'd lost some of her tail lights. So I had to get that sorted. And between all of that, it cost me a bit of time and backed up, as you can tell. There's a lot of grass at the front. Now we also, there's still half that big field left to come down. So we're gonna start widening it out another couple of feet and start packing it in. But hopefully now I get a bit of chance to get a bit done. Cause they all, one after another, tip their loads. So, pretty hectic. That is what I like to do, split the load and then bring up the load in two halves. Leaves it a bit easier than trying to maul the whole lot up and then end up creating a large brow yeah pretty hectic there for a while but hopefully now we get back in top of it so this is an unexpected turn I just went to tap my phone to see what time it was and it wasn't there and the charging cord was hanging out the window so I have now lost the phone into the pit. Is there any hope of me finding it? No. Not a bit. Not a dicky bird's hope of finding it. Oh Jesus Christ. Just my luck. Just my luck. So we've given up the search for my phone because too much pressure and the phone has no signal here so it's gone. We we'll we'll might find the next winter and we might not. To make it more painful, it has all my bank cards, my driver's license, has everything. I use the phone as the wallet, there's a back sliding case on it, so all is gone. Somewhere in the pit. It's time to bury it up another bit because I don't have time to find it. Another load coming in. The pit is getting big. So it is, it's definitely getting big. But it's very strange being without a phone because you s I just seem to have lost all concept of time and everything. You keep looking down like, where is it? Where's my phone gone? It's not there. So, just had Stephen there telling me the great news. 
three more low. And that is it. So that was great to hear. So, it's just a matter of now uh, in the tidying her up, taking her back on, under control, and then rolling her. He says there's three more low, but the last one won't be a fun one. Great to hear because the pit is starting to get quite big now. When I say big, it's not the biggest I've ever seen it. But what has to be remembered is we'll have a second crop, whole crop, and a third crop. So there's 70 acres in this now. There'll be another 50 acres going into it of second cut silage, maybe, maybe more. It all depends. There are 50 acres of se second cut. Then there's maybe 40 acres of whole crop, and then there's 40 acres of third cut to go in. And all of a sudden that's a lot of silage in the pit. You're under control now. And we'll be laughing. <sighs> and that is all she wrote. So Stephen's tipping the last load there. And that's that's it. That's all 69.45 acres in the pit. What I'll do is now I'll just shove up that loader. I, I don't know whether I will or not. So I need to I have a good bit of straightening to do on the pit. Just to leave it ready for a second cut, I want to take the brow off the face of it, make it more of a ramp at the minute. It goes up and then it's pretty flat. So I want to take that brow off, give it a more slope. That way it makes it a little bit easier when we go to put in the second cut and to actually get into the pit. And I want a good roll in too. And I think it's 12 o'clock. The person that was on the radio is no longer on the radio and they're just playing music. So that's usually a sign. I'll straighten this all out in the morning. Take me a few hours, but we get done in the morning. If the load pulls at 6 in the morning, so yeah. Get some sleep. Anyways, pick it up in the morning. And that's the pit packed in. So I'm just going to get the grape. Father Phil's just going to get the cover and just going to tidy it up with the grape. But really and truly, that's it, the silage is in. I don't go film covering it because covering it is probably the least favorite, the, 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 the worst part about cutting pits of silage, but it's as important. But yeah, this has to be some of the best silage we've ever made. It's the earliest we've ever cut our silage and we've quite a nice pit of stuff now, like bulk wise, it bulked up quite nice. We're very happy with how it turned out. So now six weeks time, seven weeks time, we should be going with a second cut and then the same again, we should be going then whole crop and third cut. Everyone is away at the minute. Bro is off raking for baling. Rory's away harrowing the last of the ground for the spring crops to go in i know that's late it's mad to think we've the silage cup before we've the last of the crop sown but that's how they roll father phil was away sowing beet for our lad so he's going to get the cover now i have the pit rolled up but it compacted quite well so now she's got sheet thrown on it and then maybe we might find my phone the the the, we we're taking bets last night when are we going to find it or will we find it will we find it when we're throwing out grabs of silage will we find it in the day feeder will we find it in the truss in front of the cattle will we find it when we're cleaning out the truss will we find it in the thing or will it be like Jurassic Park when the Spinosaurus arrives and you hear the da 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 of the phone going off in an animal's stomach that's not what happens the phone will definitely be dead and probably by then but yeah the whole process now again a phone all the cards yeah nightmare but anyways look up i think i've all my bases covered we're gonna leave it at that for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you again probably next week doing another pet of silage because we have a nice little bit on next week now next week is going to be the bulk of the pits and bailing uh, well bulk of the pits anyways is next week 
So yeah, it's going to be hectic. But anyways, it's that time of the year. So anyways, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Stay safe out there, everyone. And have a happy and safe, silly season. That is it from me. Good luck.